Okay, this is this is just a very 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 quick video about uh, just a, a tip that I learned myself. Uh, okay, back a couple of months ago, I wrote a program, a tic tac toe program, first program or game I'd ever written on an Apple II computer, and uh, at the time I did not have. Well, the only storage device I had was, you know, saving it through the cassette port to uh, a modern day PC and saving it using Audacity. Uh, or did I use the, I might have just used the sound recorder, I don't remember. And I think I used Audacity. Anyway, uh, and so I was able to save it and load it back in, no problems. Well, so after I did the uh, SD card disk drive emulator, uh, I thought, hey, I, you know, I'd like to get that tic-tac-toe game and save it to the SD card, you know. So I hooked up the audio cable to the Apple TV and loaded it in, and then it wouldn't save it. Uh, to disk, it would give me an error message. Uh, what? I don't know. Uh, error equals hexadecimal zero four or something like that. I don't remember. And and so it's like, man, well, you know, why, why is that not working? <laughs> and so uh, I looked up online. You know, what could be the problem? Uh, couldn't find anything and so let me zoom in let's see so what I finally figured out was okay so when when you first leave the machine I just turned it off Alright, when you first put the machine up, and it loads up dials, look, loading integer basic into memory. Okay, so I think the Apple IIe had floating point basic. And that's what I wrote that tic tac toe game in. And so I was thinking, huh, what if. I can't save it to disk because when I wrote it, I wrote it on floating point ba in, in floating point basic and now I'm in integer basic and it just there's like some kind of compatibility issue or something. And I found out that you can type uh let's see. FT and that will put you into floating point basic apparently and type integer will put you into integer basic no it, it seemed like it's already in floating point basic right because of prompt but anyway doing that I was able to, to successfully load the or save the program to disk And this this is the uh, the program I wrote back uh, a month or two ago, and now I got it on SD card. So so that's cool. So that's a tip. So basically, if you're trying if if you've written some software for the Apple II, um. You know, in basic and saved it to cassette and then you happen to get a you know like a uh, a disk drive or a SD card you know job emulator or whatever and you're trying to convert or transfer those cassette programs you wrote 
over to the disk based system and it's not working you know you can't for some reason you know you I mean it, it just gives you errors, errors when you load in the cassette program and then try to save it to disk well then try to you know top FP uh, if you used Apple IIe to go to uh, floating point basic and then try that but if it's the other way around if you got an Apple II which I think it had integer basic originally so you could you could go the other way just type int for integer basic because it's got to be and it, it kind of makes sense right you know if you wrote the program in one dialect of basic well and then you try to you know you try to load it in well or and save it using a different dialect of basic well there, there's like an there's gonna be a compatibility issue probably like there was with this machine and so I mean is it you know <laughs> it's it's such a weird and just you know tiny little thing you know that uh, you might not even know about you know I looked it up on the internet and I, I could find nothing about you know about that so <laughs> it's just funny these, these little these little bitty you know uh, problems that that you would probably never ever see or think about you know that that creep up and <laughs> it's just it's funny just be able to, to solve them you know and uh, so I'm just relaying the information on if it makes sense if you if you know what I'm talking about I don't know all right this is Scotty Scotty Animation. I'll talk to you later. Next clip, or well, the end of the end of this video actually. For more content, you can visit www.scottyanimation.com. There's a lot more stuff on there.